Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I hope you're all doing really well. Today is Sunday and we have had such a fantastic weekend, but now we actually have to head into London ourselves. We're going seeing at the Bulgari Hotel because tomorrow morning I have a photo shoot with Bulgari. They have a new Harrods accessories area. So it's a big section now in Harrods where you can get all the Bulgari accessories. And seeing as I am a Bulgari accessories ambassador, I wanna go along and see it and then we wanna shoot a real there so we've got a little idea to do for a reel we're gonna do that tomorrow morning the only thing is with Harrods you can only shoot in there really really early before it opens so we need to be there at like 8 a.m. that's why we're staying over in London tonight so we're gonna stay at the Bulgar Hotel which is just beautiful one of my favorite hotels in London so we're gonna go stay there so we've just packed up everything we've also got all of the hallway furniture in here as you can see, I've said this before, but all that hallway furniture that we have is all like modular furniture. We've moved into here because the painting is starting in the hallway. Oh my gosh, I haven't shown you guys. The hallway is now completely bare, but me and Alex did this. We got so fed up of waiting for our um, for carpet guy. Rocking, you know? <laughs> yeah, we got fed up of waiting for someone to come and do it. So we did it ourselves, didn't we? I think we're doing a bloody good job. It looks perfect. I think it looks really, really good. Yeah, no, it's. I don't think it could have been done anymore. It was not easy to do, though, was it? No, it looks amazing. So we now have this done. We're going to get all the painting done tomorrow. Oh, We've had our new panels to put in. Well. Oh yeah, we might have to take off this mirror. So we've just been moving everything out of here so that our um, painter can get in and get everything amazing. We just checked in at the Bulgari Hotel in Knightsbridge and it is un fathomable how big this place is it is a real treat we've been booked in by the bulgari team because we're here tomorrow for a bulgari shoot in harrods i told you i told you that earlier sorry my hair really needs a brush anyway this suite that we've been checked into is just unreal biggest hotel room i think i've ever ever seen in my entire life so i'm going to give you a really really quick tour so sorry if you've already seen this on stories but i'll try and be really quick <laughs> this is the lounge area as soon as you walk in and we have this real fire it's absolutely boiling hot raging hot in here it'd be so nice on like a, a wintry day wouldn't it husband it would be really nice wouldn't it <laughs> and then through into the dining area if we had people around for tea. Through here, this is so cool. We've got our own kitchen area in case we wanted to do any cooking. There's a um, washing machine in here if you want to do any laundry. There's a big fridge. Maybe even put some soya milk in there for us, which is so sweet. So through back in here, it's just so big. I've never seen, never seen a room like it. Huge bookcase and a desk in case we want to work here. Um, a lovely big drinks cabinet with my favorite alcoholic beverages. Into, in fact, I'll come around that way. So through into the bedroom, a lovely big bed. And the beds here are wonderful, like the sheets and everything are just divine. Big TV if we, if we want to watch some TV. Lovely vanity unit. And then you walk around this edge of the bed into, well, first of all into the closet area and this all shuts off with doors as well so you can completely keep this shut off and closed if you'd like to and then this is just gorgeous big bathtub i'm gonna have a bath soon actually lovely big his and her sink and mirror and there's also toilet and steam room as well inside of the shower so alex is most likely going to use that as well so it's just absolutely exquisite in here. I'm so thrilled to bits to be able to stay here. In fact, I can show you whereabouts we are. Like we're just above this little street down here. And just over there, around this corner, is Harrods. Harrods just around that corner. So very nice indeed. Oh, it's just so nice. This room is unreal. I'm just racking my brains as to what to f I want to film something in here, it's so big. I'm like, we need to film like a reel of some sort and we're trying to rack our brains. It's like, what could we do that's a bit different that we've not seen before? So hopefully by now you might have seen a reel on my Instagram of me in here. Yeah, this is just wonderful. We've just ordered some Pokey Bowls from Hokey, is it Hokey Pokey? I have no idea. I think, in Mayfair. So we're gonna have some Pokey Bowls. 
Oh, also I haven't shown you this bag. So, so adorable this bag. At the moment I'm just, I'm just loaning this bag for a little while from Bulgari as part of my ambassadorship. I'm just looking after her for a little while and I love her. She also comes in black. Loads of room in here. I've got everything I need in here actually. It is fantastic. Um, and I love the little chain and leather straps on the back of this. So adorable. Beautiful little bag. She's so pretty. I can't get over this fire though, guys. It's, <laughs> I can't barely get any closer because it's so hot. Okay, we ended up filming a reel. Alex is currently editing it. Hopefully it's good. It's just me being a bit of a weirdo, <laughs> running around the rooms and dancing to this song. But we've got our poke bowls. These look so good. Mine is a like a vegan jackfruit one in like a barbecue sauce with mango and broccoli and sesame seeds. And Alex has the salmon with mango and edamame. It looks really, really good. I'm excited. Oh guys, I have to t I have to tell you about what just happened because I'm just I'm just like oh god I'm almost crying of laughter but how bad I am. Oh god, this happens to me sometimes when I get to when I get so when I laugh too much I start crying. Oh god, I've just been messaging Rebecca about it. So what just happened is right this the the toilet of this room leads out it has a door in here that leads to the corridor of the Bulgari Hotel, right? So I just went in here to the toilet. Oh God. So I just went in here to the toilet and then came, came to come back into the, um, into the bathroom. Bearing in mind that I'm currently dressed in this. I opened the door to come back into here and realised that I'd walked into the corridor of the Bulgari Hotel dressed in my knickers. Oh god, I can't stop laughing about it. I can just imagine the cameras and me just waltzing out in my knickers just like da da da. And literally I like looked for a second because there was some like pots outside and I looked at them like I don't remember these being here. And I kind of walked out into the middle and looked around. And then realised I'd walked out the wrong door. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh god. It's just ridiculous. I could just imagine the security guys on the camera going, what is this girl doing? Oh god, I had to share it with you because I just... Oh, I can't stop laughing about it. Me and Rebecca are just going back and forth. It's like, I'm dying. Oh God, absolutely hilarious. Oh, flipping heck. I just was not thinking. I was just thinking about other things. It's like, doo, doo, doo. Straight out into the corridor of the Bulgari. Thank God no one else has stood out there. Can you bloody imagine? Oh, flipping heck. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop thinking about it. Oh God, okay. Anyway, take off my makeup now. I'm getting ready for bed. Oh, well, yeah, I, I was gonna have a bath, but actually it's got to like half past 10 now. So I'm gonna just get a quick shower and then get in bed. And then I think me and Alex are gonna watch the end of Matrix 3 because we've been watching every other Matrix. Obviously, again, I watched them years ago, but um, we've been having a little trilogy marathon. So we're gonna watch that before bed and then I need to be at Harrods tomorrow for eight. So I probably need to wake up about seven. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, gosh, scar for life now after that. Or oh, maybe the security guards are, that's for sure. Anyway, good night. <laughs> good morning, guys. It is the day of our Bulgari shoot. We're going to head over to Harrods now. Had a really fantastic sleep. The nice thing about the Bulgari is that they have a pillow menu so that if you want to um, order different types of pillows, depending on if you like a structured pillow, a soft pillow, a really soft pillow, you can order them, but actually on the bed were the most wonderful, comfortable pillows ever. So we've had a really fantastic sleep. But up bright and early. In fact, we've got five minutes to get over to Harrods now and meet the Bulgari team. I'm all ready, very casual. Again, in my faux leather trousers and my little tods that I wear daily. These are like my driving shoes that I just love. Um, and my blazer, little Balmain bralette that I got couple of years ago now but I wear it so much and the idea of the shoot is that 
in fact you'll have probably seen this by the time that I put this up and we're going to make a real think where I kind of move across the Harrods uh, Bulgari concession and every time that I pick up a bag my blazer and shoes change to that colour of that bag so it's all very colour coordinated so say like I'll pick up a pink bag and then suddenly I'm in a pink blazer and pink shoes that kind of thing so that's what we're going to try and pull off today <laughs> So we're just in Harrods before opening time, no one else is here and we've just been shooting at the Bulgari pop-up, well the Bulgari accessories wall. So it's just inside, if you come to the Brompton Road exit and you walk into here, it's just on your right hand side. So now they have, Bulgari have their own accessories section now in the accessories floor. So it's a really exciting moment for Bulgari. So hopefully you might see my reel by now. I'm sure I'll have put it up. But go and have a look at it on Instagram. Really excited about how that went. Oh yeah, great. So I have to put my mask back on now. Everyone else has got their masks on. Obviously I was doing the shoot, so I'm gonna put my mask back on and we're gonna go get some coffees. I love it in here though before hours. It's just such a cool environment. <laughs> also, just to show you, this is the Harrods exclusive bag, which you may have seen in the Harrods magazine that we did the article for. It is so pretty. I love that one. And these oh, the little green one, that's my one up there. I love it. Breakfast time. This looks fantastic. I have some scrambled eggs on avocado toast, and they've literally put it all together for me. We got Starbucks en route home. I've got a mango smoothie. Mm. Alex has eggs royale and a grapefruit juice and then we're gonna pack and head home. Good morning guys. We are off today to London. I have a nail appointment, thank goodness, because I've also just broken a nail and it's so painful I keep hitting it. Oh it's just unbelievably painful so I'm hoping that she can salvage it for me. Oh fingers crossed. And then we're gonna go get our hair done by Larry King. Which I'm very, very excited about. I just want it like brightened up a little bit. And I'm also thinking about getting some bangs. A friend of mine has recently had some bangs cut in, um, like kind of longer. And this looks so nice, like at the front of her hair. So that's what I'm thinking that I also want to get. I've just realised I've put a lot of bronzer on. I'm not as bronzy here. Oh God, never mind. Things you have to do in a rush, eh? Also, we've had this room painted and it looks so good. So, so good. Like everything now is perfectly white. There's no drawings all over it anymore. I need to, I need to send these back. Um, and we've got our beautiful Dr. Francis at Varanges. Um, I saw, I had to get one of these because um, Jade Holland Cooper, when we went along to her house a few weeks ago, I've not actually shown you that vlog yet because there's lots of beautiful things in it I can't show you yet. But when I went over she was like, you have to get this Victoria, this is the best brand ever for diffusers. So I bought myself one. This is the litre size by the way if you're having a look. Um, they do go bigger than this, they obviously go up in price from this. Um, but I absolutely love it, it smells incredible in my hallway today because of this. In fact she also recommended these as well, these Rathbones candles. And this is the... Dublin Tea Rose Oud and Patchouli and guys I've never smelt a stronger more intense candle like it fills this entire hallway literally fills it with this wonderful smell so these two can't recommend more Ooh, and we also have a new cushion this is so beautiful you know how much I love my bees and this is an Elizabeth Scarlet velvet cushion so it works so perfectly here on top of the black velvet chair that's black velvet and it's got our gold bees and obviously there's gold accents all around the room so this works so wonderfully and I showed you that we'd finished that off too so pretty much this room now is ready to go. I just need a piece here for the bottom of this to finish this off and then we're done in here. Ah. I just finished up my nails and they are my favourite so far. It's like a gradient nail from white and so we've done, we've done two layers of veiled and then it's a white on the top. Aren't they just beautiful? 
I'm halfway through my Larry King haircut. So Bryony has just done the colour and made it so beautiful. Like put through my natural colour and more blonde and through the front. And then Larry has cut me in like a little, a little fringe onto the front. I just want a bit more shape and then a little bit down here as well. Just got a little bit more going on. And he's cutting me some layers in. That's nice really and fresh. Yeah, but it'll just be nice. A proper invisible layer. With a bit more shape. Yeah. And Alex got his hair done too. Oh my gosh, I can't cope with this. Oh, it's a mess. Honestly, this is stressing me out, this room. Oh, hi guys, I just realised I haven't said hi. It's been a really nice busy day, as always. Oh my gosh, check out my new fridge. I love it, it's so nice. And Bryony made the colour so creamy. She's taken my highlights a little bit higher up and she kind of freestyled a bit, put a bit of balayage. Did a bit of balayage techniques in there. Just mixed up a little bit. In fact, let me take down this so you can see a bit better. I mean, it's been in a bobble all day now, but just feels a little bit more, you know, mixed up, a bit more fun. Um, obviously, I've got I've got tan on from yesterday. I did a full Saint Tropez tan, but I'm not going to make up on. So, yeah, obviously, I'm not going to look my absolute most fabulous ever. But this is me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, really, really productive day today because it feels like a Friday because I know that I am not I'm not working tomorrow technically because we're going to the Lake District. We're driving up to the Lake District, so today just feels like a Friday instead of a Thursday. So I just I've been feeling really like anxious and rushed all day trying to get work done, and I'm like, actually, it's funny. Thursday but still I can't really work tomorrow because I'm going to be driving all the way up to the Lake District. We're borrowing this absolutely beautiful car. Probably can't tell you about it yet but it's a beautiful new electric car that's just launched in the UK and we're driving up the Lake District in it. I'm going to have a bit of a time there in that so I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a really gorgeous, very like homely, cosy vlog. That is coming soon, I'm going to post that soon. I'm not going to be able to show you that in this vlog, it'll be too long to put at the end of this. However, there is something I can show you. I really wish that this room didn't look like this, but it's probably <laughs> the least messy room in the house right now. <laughs> but I just want to show you my new bag. Um, I picked this up a few days ago. Now, this bag is it's a big treat to myself that's for sure just with how busy things have been lately it's been very very busy but also very productive and a successful few months i must admit and sometimes it's nice just to kind of treat yourself and things have been going really really well and i saw this bag mainly because loads of my instagram followers maybe you guys message me about this bag so i follow this instagram account called luxury promise you might remember I bought my Hermes blanket from there as well. So you can get some absolute gems on there. But they specialise mainly in Hermes, um, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Dior. And that's where I got my Hermes blanket. But because I've been looking for my Hermes, um, my amber Hermes for so long now, you guys know how much I've been desperate for a, for a bag in that colour, like the perfect bag. In honesty, it's not going to happen for me with the Hermes. It's not. Unless I'm able to get an appointment and go and buy one, I'm not, I'm not going to spend the reselling rates because they're between 15 and 17 thousand pounds for a bag and I'm just not I'm just not gonna do that so that dream right now is over for me unless I can get into an Hermes store and they just happen to have the amber 25 inch Birkin in there which is unlikely so instead I saw this bag on my Instagram on Luxury Promise and then so many of you messaged me to say Victoria have you seen this amber coloured bag and the more I got chatting with you guys about it I was like this actually could be the perfect bag for me so um I bought it <laughs> I bought it I just I just fell I just fell completely in love with it and the pictures that they'd use to sell it and the way they styled it up totally sold it to me. I was hooked in and I just thought, you know what, let's just go for it. So I did. Here we are. I've just taken out the box into the <laughs> little dust bag. So let me show you. You probably, I mean, you already know what to expect. It's yellow, guys. It is my favourite colour and it is a beautiful Chanel. I hope you're all swooning just as much as I was swooning because I just think it's amazing. Look at that colour. It's so beautiful. It's got the really pretty like vintage style top handle. It is 
the chevron quilting and it's in a caviar leather which i just really really love it just means it's so much harder to scratch it's going to stay so much nicer for longer got a pretty back pocket it's got the really lovely gold it's like a matte gold finish side all this room and then a back pocket and then it comes with the signature chain strap and i love the length of it the length is absolutely perfect cross body length sorry i'm so slouchy today i'm wearing my victoria beckham reebok black <laughs> trousers i was in my <laughs> this is so ridiculous who else does this i was in my jeans but then i did a full black wash like the darks put my jeans in the wash and then was like i'm just gonna put on some track pants so I'm very cosy right now. Do you know what? I feel like this um, hair makes my cheekbones look more pronounced. Do not think. I don't know. Maybe it's a tab. I don't know. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. The, the customer service, again, was fantastic. They're just so easy. You just go on the website, buy it, they send it to you. I mean, it, it couldn't be easier. And um, like I said, when I bought my Hermes blanket, they were just so quick, so so easy to deal with. Everything is authentic, genuine. You get a little card to say it's been completely um, like verified, legitimate purchase. I bought this as a big treat to myself, and I, I feel it was after you guys messaged me. You enabled me. You enablers. <laughs> now then, I am going to tackle this. Oh well, I'm not going to tackle it fully. I mean, the main re the main reason everything is in this room. It's because of my Velux windows and Alex hasn't had any time this week because we've been so busy. He's not managed to paint anything. So I can't get anything back in that room until it's fully painted, obviously, and until I've dusted and mopped and got all of the dust up. So I've kind of started like chucking things here. So there's things here from the other day when I went to the Bulgari Hotel. There's things from the other week when I went to the Kensing um, to the Marleybone Hotel. And it's all just here. It's here. Down on the on the bed. Just a lot. So I'm gonna try and now pack for my trip from this stuff, I think. But I'm gonna show you a few things that I'm gonna pack for my trip. So a few weeks ago, I bought a few things from Farfetch for this trip. So I'm gonna go get those to take, especially like my walking boots. But I did buy some beautiful, more summery pieces because I was really hoping the weather was gonna be fantastic. And in honesty, this trip has been pushed back and pushed back a couple of weeks. And that's why I thought the summery stuff would be great, but it's a bit out of season now. But it's okay, I'll find some fabulous things. One thing that's catching my eye, this Holland Cooper hat. I think I might take this because this is like the perfect kind of thing to take for the Lake District. I really hope this is out. I'm sorry to the guys if this was out yet, but it'll be coming soon if not. If not, I'll, um, I'll leave a link down below though if you can get it, it is so fab. So good, I love it. I'll also be taking, I'm also gonna be taking these two coats because obviously I want to look fashionable, but still get the country vibes. The, the Lake District vibes, the Lake vibes. I'm going to take this Holland Cooper coat. Do you know what? I've been wearing this. I've still got the bloody tag on it. It's ridiculous. I'm going to take this gorgeous big maxi with me and just wear it with like lots of lovely knitwear. But I think I'm also going to take this one again, maxi, but in the gorgeous houndstooth. I wore this so much last Christmas, you probably remember. But I'm going to take this as well with me to wear let me find some other bits this is where i keep my coats by the way i don't think i've ever shown this little, this little um wardrobe i need to remove a couple because it's got a little bit crammed again i try and keep things a little bit reduced in here but it doesn't often work i mean this would be perfect actually these holland cooper coats with the big faux fur hoods are great i think it's quite that cold yet so i might not actually i think i'm good actually with those two Hong Cooper coats that I've got out. I think I just need some nice knitwear to take with me. So I got these, you might remember I bought these for this trip, this beautiful Zimmerman, Zimmerman yellow set. And I just, I literally just rang the hotel actually checking that we could get in for a, um, some time in the pool. So I'm gonna take these with me because they have booked us in. And I think, where is my shirt to go with that? Let me find Sino shirt. Here it is. Yeah, I bought this gorgeous Sino shirt. It's just a beautiful linen. So I'm gonna take that with me in case we can go to the spa. I can just kind of throw this on in between, you know, if we're just chilling around that area. So I'm gonna take that with me too. 
I've got two lovely knits there. This is the set that I bought to take with me. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take this with me and my white trousers and um, I'm going to wear that for the evening. Trousers are downstairs. This black dress that I got last week as well. This long black ribbed dress. I might take that and just some like banker boots to wear with it for another evening out. Good morning guys. I am up and ready and excited for our road trip today. I'm really excited. Full face of makeup on which is very nice. I just feel all kind of ready and excited for a little weekend away. Really looking forward to it. Let me show you what I am wearing for the car journey. So I have put on this brand new Holland Cooper jumper. It just feels really um, country vibes, heritage, something quite autumnal almost, a bit Christmassy about like the colours, I feel. Um, and it's got this really pretty lustrous fabric. Um, you might not be able to see it here in the mirror, but it's almost like a gold threading that goes through it. So yeah, it works so well for like a, a Christmassy wintery thing. Um, I've then got on my... I think on the Joseph leggings that I bought the other week from Netta Porte. Just, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to regret this for the car journey because I'm one of those people that if I have really tight waistbands around me, I get a really bad stomach ache. Um, so this could be a bad choice, but at the same time I really wanted to wear these, so I'm not, not sure. Then I've got my beautiful new Chanel bag and I've put everything inside it for the day all ready. Look how pretty. You can see probably a little bit better now in the light. Much better light this morning. Just how beautiful this is with beautiful, it's almost a bit antiqued matte gold finish um, hardware. It is just gorgeous. Let me try it on. Look at that length. It's the most perfect crossbody length. My other, I've got two other Chanel's and the crossbody strap on them is too long and it always annoys me. I have to like rewrap it inside and like tie it with a ribbon. Whereas this is perfection. Such a treat. I'm so, so thrilled with it. I hope you guys like it. If you do, leave me a yellow heart in the comments. If you got this far and you like the bag, um, leave me a little, <coughs> excuse me, leave me a little yellow heart. And thank you, by the way, to everyone who always leaves me an emoji when they, when they hear me say it. Honestly, it really warms my heart. I go through all my comments and it's like hundreds and hundreds of the emoji that I've asked for. And honestly, it's really, really nice to see. Like, it feels like a community when I see that. So thanks, guys. I really love that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm wearing those. And then, I think I showed you this yesterday, but I'm going to wear my Holland Cooper Maxi Coat. The thing I like about this one is that it's a bit more kind of casual. They do do another one that belts up in the middle and it's a bit more structured and trench-like, whereas this one just feels like a gorgeous overcoat. And it's fantastic. I think I kind of want to wear... I'm going to definitely put this in the in the car because there's any opportunity to wear it because I think it would make a really nice picture as well. <laughs> we will see. And then I'm just going to wear my Stella McCartney's, I think, just because there will be a good driving shoe, but also a really nice um, shoe just for trotting around the lovely little Lake District villages. Seeing a hotel called Lodor Falls, it's on Derwent Water, if any of you know. Lake District. It's a really fantastic like spa hotel. It looked like the best one in the area so I booked it. And um, we're meeting my brother there as well. We're just having like a nice little little time away. I also have this with me which I am just in love with. Do you know I didn't realise that they'd put this on here? <laughs> as if. The cushion that's downstairs. This is a matching like makeup bag from Elizabeth Scarlett. I already have this one from last year's collection with Kelly um, which is for sa saving the turtles. So I have all my makeup brushes in that one and then I have my actual makeup in this one. I love these. It's such great bags. Throw them in. I've got my little PJs in there. <laughs> I've got my wash bag inside my Lumiere bag and I've got a lot of clothes for a two day stay but I thought just in case I need to shoot any outfits really. So I've got my Holland Cooper in here. Oh, I've got a lot. I've got a lot. Anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs because I heard that bagels are on the cards. But I just wanted to say hi and bye really. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. This whole video of the trip, I'm gonna do as like a separate like bonus video because I think it'll be so nice just to show you what we did and for me to kind of keep those memories. So that'll be coming really, really soon. But for now, thank you for being here guys and I hope you're all doing so well. Sending you all lots of love and I'll see you soon.